601 South Drexel Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, where the pastor is, Elder Ricky Dukes.
matter what the world thinks. Amen. I'm glad to be saved on this afternoon. How about you? I don't care what the world thinks about me. The world is going to do what they want to do anyway. And they have no concern about how what we think about them. Amen. So we don't need to have a concern about what they think about us. Amen. I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. I have no regrets. Amen, and we, we entered into a, a new decade. Yes. Amen, and uh, I, I look forward to it with enthusiasm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Yes, you know, I, I, I don't know where the Lord's going to take me. I don't know where the Lord's going to take us as a people. Right. Amen, but I look forward to it with enthusiasm. Yes. Amen, I'm not about to give up. Yes. Amen, I'm not about to. Amen, to tell the devil here, you can have it. Amen, it was all a joke. Amen. I'm not telling you that at all. I don't believe I made the wrong move.
My God, help us to open our hearts, Lord. My God, to what you have for us, Lord. Use them, Lord. Help us, Lord. My God, bless him in his body and his soul, mind, Lord. Rebuke the devil on every hand, Lord. My God, and Lord, we're just looking for what you have for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, my brother. We invite you to study out of the word of the Lord with us once again. As we turn our Bibles to the book of Luke, Luke, the 15th chapter, amen, and uh, uh, the, um, the scripture that we're going to look at is one that I seem to visit at, at least once a year, maybe twice a year, amen, but uh, I, I seem to get something out of it uh, uh, every time, uh, uh, you know, that's the thing about studying the word of, of God, amen, there are nuggets to the word of God. Uh, word of God. Yeah, right. and then, uh, you, you, the scripture, I think in Song of Solomon, talks about going in down into the valley of nuts. Yeah, right. Amen. And uh, uh, as you study the word of the Lord, uh, amen, it will take you further and further down into the valley. You know how people are, are mined for gold? Yeah, right. And you know, and, and, and they're going places where other people haven't gone, you know. They're, they're trying to find that, that one nugget, that one nugget. And you know, they don't just want to find the little ashes and all that. Get, get me a nugget. That's right, that's right. Amen. So uh, 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 that's what I seek for in my studying. Uh, amen. That the Lord will give us a, a, a nugget. Uh, amen. And so uh, uh, as I was studying here, uh, uh, the Lord took me back to uh, 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 what we refer to as the prodigal son, the parable of the prodigal son. Amen. And we'd like to uh, en enlarge on that. Uh, as we uh, read Luke, the 15th chapter, and we'll start reading at the 11th verse on down, please, my sister. And he said, Yes? A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. Amen, amen. Uh, uh, it talks about a, 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 a man, and you know, I love when the scripture talks about uh, that it, uh, it uses a terminology like there was a certain man. Right. Amen. Yeah. He, he chose a, yeah. a particular man, uh, uh, and uh, he wasn't just speaking in general. He, he wanted us to focus in on this particular father. Amen. It doesn't seem like uh, uh, the mother was in the picture. Amen. I don't know where she was or what had happened. Uh, I don't know whether the man was a widower or what. Uh, amen. But uh, it was a certain man and he had two sons and uh, it, it sounded like uh, this was a good father. Uh, amen. He wasn't a deadbeat dad. Amen. Uh, he was uh, 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 raising his two sons and uh, 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 he uh, 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 gave, gave them a, a direction and counsel, uh, amen, as to what they need to do. And uh, you, you know, uh, uh, over the years uh, of, uh, uh, of Jesus walking this earth, uh, it's been over 2,000 years now, and uh, 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 it, it, people, they still have the same issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Still have the same issues. So, you know, we're going to read about uh, uh, this dad and his two sons, and uh, it looked like that he was experiencing the same thing that parents experience today with their children. Hey, man, uh, 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 you give them everything. Everything that the Lord would tell you to give them. Hey, man, and for some of us, even more. See, because sometimes, uh, amen, you have to acknowledge, Lord, perhaps I, 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 I went too far, amen, in giving them what they needed or what they wanted. Maybe I went too far. Amen. Uh, 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 some of us, some of us uh, amen, we love our little ones so much. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, and our big ones. Uh, amen. Uh, we, we, we're giving them just about everything. Amen. They call for money. Uh, amen. We give them money. Uh, amen. Uh, we don't want to see them go through the same hardship that we've gone through. Yeah. Amen. It's just what you do as parents. Uh, amen. But as you're growing up, uh, amen, you're giving them toys. Uh, you're giving them no more hundred dollar shoes. Uh, amen. You're just spinning, spinning, spinning. Uh, amen. Giving them just about everything they want. Uh, and then they get to a certain age. And they feel like, uh, I'm tired of being under your roof. 
I'm tired, amen, of your rules. And so, amen, this is what we're going to find. And keep reading, my sister. And not many days after the youngest son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. Listen up, amen, this young man, uh, the youngest boy, uh, amen, uh, he uh, 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 got his uh, inheritance from his father, uh, amen, he gave it to him early, uh, he said, listen, I want it, uh, give it to me, uh, amen, and I've mentioned it before, uh, amen, uh, if it was in our day and time, uh, amen, he took all that was valuable to him. Yeah. He took his iPod, Whoa. his iPad, amen, his Xbox, Amen. Uh, and, uh, and then he wanted to make sure that his Twitter account, uh, and then was current. Yep. His Netflix, uh, yep. who his, who knew? <laughs> and made sure, and made sure he had a Disney account. Man, all, all that he looked at, uh, amen, as being valuable. Amen. And the boy went on his way. I'm tired of your rules. I'm tired of you telling me to clean up. I'm tired of you telling me to clean up my room. I'm tired of you telling me to empty the garbage. I'm tired of you telling me, amen, to milk the cows. I'm tired of you telling me, telling me, telling me. I'm tired of it. We know what that's like. Perhaps some of us was like that. Anyway, this boy, amen, uh, he, was, he, was, he was feeling pretty good about himself, uh, amen, uh, and uh, 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 he basically uh, uh, let his dad know, uh, amen, uh, thanks pops, uh, amen, but I don't need you no more, amen, I got my money, amen, this boy went out. And what did he do, my sister? And took his journey into a far country. And listen up, amen. Uh, it, it's something about children, uh, amen. They want to put distance between themselves and their parents. Yeah. 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 Uh, a far country, way off somewhere. Amen. Uh, listen up, uh, amen. You try to call them up, uh, amen. They say, I'll, I'll get back to you later. Come on, come on. I'm just trying to be real. Come on. They recognize that's you. I go put a, a distance away. Amen. As much love and care that you've shown for them, as much as you've done for them, amen. They want to get with their friends. Amen. And act like their friends. Amen. Care more for them. Amen. Than their parents do. Amen. Oh, but oh, uh, this boy, uh, amen, he wanted, uh, amen, to enjoy himself, uh, get away from those rules, get away from that, just yeah. get away. Yeah. All right, come on, come on, come on. What happened? And sister? there, wasted his substance with riotous living. And listen up, uh, amen, uh, he went out with his friends. Amen, uh, I believe, uh, amen, he went out partying. Amen. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, perhaps he got hot. Perhaps he drank. Uh, amen. Perhaps. Uh, amen. Uh, he was uh, uh, giving money away to his friends because, uh, amen, he was buying friendship. Yeah. Listen, young people uh, and old folks. Uh, amen. You can't buy friendship. Uh, amen. Either they're your friends or they ain't. Yeah. Quit trying to, uh, amen, uh, buy friendship. Amen. I read something one day, uh, amen, and I thought it was very good. It said this, uh, amen, quit making people, making priority of people that make you just, that they look at you just as an option. Don't make people priority who look at you just as an option. Hey, amen. Uh, I don't see that in the Bible, but I like it. You give it, give it, give it, give it, give it to folks. Yes. And listen, they can do without you. They can do without you. I believe I can apply some scripture here. Amen. In principle, amen. Uh, the scripture says, uh, amen, that listen, a wise man, he'll foresee evil. And he'll hide himself. Amen. You need to be able to look at. Amen. 
at how that person is treating you and make a decision whether you want to be in their friendship or not. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Uh, y'all still with me? Okay. Amen. Listen up. This may be a roller coaster, so hold on. I think I'm going to see some white knuckles on uh, this afternoon. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Verse 14. And when he had spent all. No, when he spent all. Amen. He went out there. Amen. Uh, 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 he spent everything that he had. Come on. There arose a mighty famine in the land. There arose a land. mighty famine in the land. Come on. And he began to be in want. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. Listen, I don't know where he was staying at first. I don't know where he was living at first. Amen. But obviously, uh, amen, uh, uh, he stayed somewhere once he left his parents, his father's home. Amen. Uh, but uh, there came a point that he couldn't stay there no more. All right. Okay. All right. Come on, come on. And, and, and what did he do? And he went and joined himself. To a citizen of that country. And listen up. Amen. Uh, he went up uh, and stayed at somebody else's house. <laughs> now, I don't know what the circumstances was. Amen. That 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 uh, he uh, had to leave this other place that he was living. I don't know what the circumstance was. Amen. But he had to leave. And then, uh, and then he went and stayed at somebody else's house. Come on, come on. But, oh, hold on, I, I want to say this before we go any further. There, there, there was something that I still recognize about this young man. Amen. Uh, 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 what made him leave home was the same thing that he brought out on the streets with him. The boy was still in Neverland. He left home still in the land. I don't want to grow up. I don't want to, amen, move from where I am. Yes. I'm going to be the same person, and you can't make me change. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay. You can't make me change. I don't care what my daddy say. I don't care what they say. Amen. Uh, uh, grown folks, they think they know it all, but I'm going to show them a thing or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight. Oh, my God. The boy had to leave where he was, and amen, he went and he lived somewhere else. Come on. A country man. Is that what the, the word says there? Of that country. Of that country, okay. A citizen of that country. Come on. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. No, I'm going to point out something here. This young man, yes. he uh, had to leave the place that he was previously. Amen. And uh, for some reason, he had to get out of there. Amen. And now he's uh, 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 the citizen of, of a, a particular country. Uh, amen. And uh, 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 he, he probably was taken in by him. Uh, amen. Uh, but I believe that this boy brought the same issues and problems that he had at home out there with him. He, uh, he, he was staying somewhere, and uh, uh, if you will allow me to use my imagination, amen. that boy, amen, he stayed somewhere, uh, amen, but I, I, I don't believe that he was, amen, carrying his weight. I don't believe, uh, amen, he was doing what he should have done, Amen. Uh, staying at somebody else's house because, uh, amen, just as he was not uh, doing what he's supposed to do at home, just as he was being irresponsible at home, he went out, uh, amen, and stayed somewhere else and was being irresponsible. I believe they put him out. If you allow me, I believe they put him out. Get, get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Amen. He went to that, uh, that, that, that other man's house, uh, amen, uh, and doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, uh, 
amen, uh, 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 children, teenagers, uh, even some adults, uh, amen, uh, uh, they won't carry their load where they are, amen, to where, with people who love them, they won't carry their load, amen, uh, and they think they can run out somewhere else, uh, amen, and uh, bring that same foolishness, uh, amen, uh, and they find out, uh, amen, the same rules that was at mom and daddy's house. The same rules that was in mom and daddy's house. Amen. They're finding those same rules. Amen. It may be a different scenario. Amen. But that person don't want you sitting there. Amen. And you just looking at TV. Looking at a, amen, a, a, a thing that you want to look at. And you're not paying your bills. You're not, uh, uh, listen, you're not throwing out the garbage. You're not cleaning your room. Amen. 
And uh, uh, it's sometimes, uh, amen, uh, you, you, you try to convince people, listen, uh, you don't need to go see a psychiatrist, uh, a psychologist, uh, you need God.
amen, uh, uh, excuses, and uh, amen, uh, they experience broken dreams and uh, broken relationships, personal failures, uh, amen, uh, and uh, uh, many people, uh, amen, if you're not saved, uh, uh, everybody, you just have sin sick soul. And they go through things sometimes, amen, that affect them. In Psalms uh, uh, 41, did I, did I, what did I say? Did I say Psalm 41? Okay, because I'm going to see Psalms 15. Okay. Psalms 41. And, um, just, let's go straight to uh, verse 9. Read verse 9. Okay. Mine own familiar friend. Amen. He was a, uh, uh, the psalmist. He was speaking. Uh, amen. And he was talking about his relationship. Uh, amen. Obviously, he had a friend. Uh, amen. A uh, uh, one that he trusted in. And, uh, amen. He put uh, amen, uh, uh, a lot of his confidence in. Uh, but he said, yea, my own familiar friend. In whom I trusted. In whom I trusted. Which then eat of my which bread. Which then eat of my bread. And lifted up his heel against me. Have you ever had, uh, amen, someone uh, that you put a lot of confidence in, uh, amen, betray you? I don't think there's many people that did. Have you ever experienced that? They betray you. The psalmist Amen. And I don't believe uh, 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 God put scriptures in here for nothing. I don't believe, uh, amen, he put things in here, uh, amen, just to uh, 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 fill in space, uh, amen, but there is principles, uh, amen, to guide our lives. And this, uh, this statement was made here, uh, amen, my own familiar friend, uh, amen, uh, in whom I trusted, uh, amen, he lifted up his heel against me, uh, amen, he betrayed me, uh, amen, uh, he put uh, 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 things out about me that he, uh, amen, uh, that he shouldn't, uh, amen, uh, he was in my home, I let him in, uh, amen, uh, and the things that he did and he said, uh, amen, uh, it affected him. Now, you know, sometimes when something is done to you and it hurts you real bad, real bad, oh, yeah. it can stop the clock. Yes. Yes. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You talk about Neverland. Right. It stops you right there. And you say to yourself, I'll never. It's true. I'll never, I'll never trust again. It'll bind you in Neverland. I'll never love again. I'll never have that type of friendship again. I'll never. It stops the clock on you. You know, uh, amen, you take, for instance, uh, amen, uh, 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 a young lady, amen, uh, who may have been sexually abused. Can I talk like this? May have been sexually abused, sexually molested. Amen, uh, amen. So uh, she's going through so many fears and uh Amen. Uh, 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 don't know. Uh, amen. How to deal with it. Uh, amen. And uh, 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 she hasn't talked to anyone. Uh, amen. And uh, uh, no one has really led her. Amen. As to how to handle it. Yeah. So she grew up. Amen. A young lady. Uh, amen. Uh, with certain uh, 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 perceptions of men. Certain uh, 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 concepts of men. Amen. Perhaps you may even get saved. Sure. Yes. All right. Yes. And, 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 and the, you know what? The, the longer I'm staying a pastor, the more I'm realizing. Amen. Uh, 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 saved people, many of them, they, they get saved and they're hurt. Yes. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on.
and dealing with issues. Well, let me get back to the young lady. She grows up. Amen. She gets saved. Amen. I uh, 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 married a good man. Okay. I ain't talking about some, uh, some rag tag out there. A good man. He loves her. He cares for her. Amen. Basically give her anything. Amen. He's singing the song. Ain't no woman like the one I got. I kiss the ground she walk on to make her happy. No, no, no. stops right there. He stops right there. Amen. Because of, amen, what she has gone through, amen, has made her insecure. She's stuck in that land. Stuck in that age. Perhaps she was 12 years old, but she's stuck right there. Emotionally, she's stuck. She gotta get out of there. She she gotta leave Neverland somehow. So, Amen. Uh, uh, she uh, 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 have uh, 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 issues. Uh, amen. And uh, she uh, uh, go through this thing. Uh, amen. Where she have a uh, uh, relationship issues. Right. Insecure. Yeah. Gets jealous and even look at another woman. You know, some, some, it's not just women. Men get like that too. And then I'm just, I'm using a, a woman here. And then, but it's men like that too. Get jealous. Who, 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 what are you looking at him for? Going through your phone. <laughs> who is this? Wait a minute, you, you're telling me, amen, uh, that we're at a point 
amen, uh, where uh, 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 divorce is uh, being invoked, amen, and uh, it's all because of, amen, uh, that I left my socks out. And he recognized, or she recognized, like, that this person has been like this for years. And as a pastor, as a pastor, they're constantly knocking, texting, calling, because somebody or both of them is stuck in Neverland. Sometimes you gotta sit down, and then you gotta talk with them, yeah. amen. And you gotta navigate your your way through that maze of Neverland because it's filled with lost boys, fairies, immature thinking. Y'all with me? Come on. Mermaids, because, amen, they have this concept, amen, of, 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 of lies and concepts, of, amen, that, that they can't even put together. And people begin to uh, develop ha ha habits, patterns, coping mechanisms. Amen. They're trying to protect them. Amen. That area of trauma in their life. Yeah. Yeah. And they react to, to triggers. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. There's something that triggered. Yeah. Trigger. Make it come to, to surface. Yeah. Amen. Things are going well for a while. Then boom. Yeah. Boom. 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 Uh, listen, amen, I'm talking like this because, uh, amen, uh, as I said before, uh, 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 God, he doesn't just want to heal us spiritually. He want to heal us emotionally. He want to heal us mentally. God want to heal us. He said, I come to bind the broken heart.
but you don't have to stay here. You, come on, you may not be able to have that relationship, amen, that dream that you thought that you could have when you got married. You're looking for that 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 uh, that knight in shining armor. Yes, yes, yes. And they arose up in the twilight to go unto the city of the Syrians 
And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp. Okay, of hold on, hold on, my sister. I know you're trying to get there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, they realized death was all around them. Yeah. They went to the city, they were going to die with everybody inside. So the only solution was to uh, 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 go to the camp uh, and of the Syrians and surrender. They had nothing to lose. Right. Either they sit there and die, or they go out there and die. They had nothing to lose. And everything to gain. The worst that could happen was they're going to get killed. And they're going to die anyway. Maybe, the, maybe, maybe their death was going to be quick and painless. But they made a determination. Let's go. Let's at least try. Let's at least try. They had to get up and do something. It was time to act. It was time to believe. Listen, we've been talking about maturing on these last few sermons, these messages talking about healing, talking about maturing, talking about uh, moving on. Amen. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to say to uh, those that are hearing, it's time to believe. Yes. Yes. We don't just want to talk about it. It's time to believe. Yes. It's time, uh, amen, uh, 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 that we're done talking about maturing and healing and uh, amen. And uh, being made whole, it's time to do something. Because all of these messages culminate right here, right here, right here. That it, 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 it's time to do something. Yeah. It, it, it's time to do something, whether it be a uh, amen emotionally or or spiritually or or, or mentally. Uh, amen. Uh, 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 it, it, it's time to do something. It's time to act in faith. Why sit here until you die? Yeah. These messages don't mean any good unless you decide to leave Neverland. Yeah. Get up and do something. Amen. Get up and do something. Amen. Uh, uh, you need God. Come and, come, come and get God. Because I'm going to tell you, uh, amen, for most of our issues, God is the solution. Yes. Yes. Amen. So, uh, I'm going to say all our issues. Yes. God is the solution. Sometimes we're fearful, of, amen, fearful of the unknown. What's going to happen if I leave him? Fear of change. What people going to say about me? What's, what, what's going to happen? But listen, but the re reality is if you stay and never lie, you are going to die. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to die. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh. Why, don't, why don't you come? Get out of Neverland. Get, 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 get out of there, uh, amen, uh, uh, emotionally. Get out of there spiritually. Get out of Neverland. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Quit telling yourself never. Yeah. Right. You know, you know what, what, what God said? He said, listen, today is the accepted time. Yes. Today is. Right, right now. Amen. Don't talk about trying to get out of there tomorrow. Get out of there today. Yes. This afternoon. Yes. Let, let, listen, let God do his work on you. Yes. As we're going into 2020, a uh, uh, church, uh, amen. Uh, listen, uh, let's leave all that mess in 2019. Uh. Amen. Be the same God God's calling for you to be. Yes. Get to 
that place. Stop looking at others, amen, and talking about what others did and what they didn't do and uh, how other people got in my way. What my mama did and my daddy did and uh, uh, my husband and my wife. Yeah. My brother and my sister. Neverland is not for the mature. Neverland is not for those, uh, amen, that want to make that next move that, Lord, I want to, I, 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 I want to be a better man, yeah. a better woman, a better saint. Amen. 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 Leaving Neverland, you may not go home. But you don't have to say it alone. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed gospel time today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at admin at churchofgodofchicago.com or phone us at 773-548-7133. And you can also write us at The Church of God at 4601 South Drexel Boulevard. Chicago, Illinois, 60653. If you would like to visit with us, our order of service is as follows. Sunday morning Bible school at 9.15 a.m. Sunday morning worship service, 11 o'clock a.m. Sunday night worship service at 5 p.m. Tuesday night worship service at 7 p.m. Prayer service on Thursday at 12 noon. And Friday night Bible class at 7 p.m. Visit our website also and like us on Facebook at churchofgodofchicago.com. Also, join us live on Periscope at C-O-G-O-C, -O -O Gospel Time. As we bring this message to a close, we would like to leave these scriptures from the Word of God with you. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and 29. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. The musicians for today have been our pianists, Sister Jerome Horton, and also Brother Jesse Brown. Your reader and announcer for today has been Sister Alice Allen. May God bless and keep you. Amen. As we stand, please.
didn't make a mistake sending Pastor this way. Yeah. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. And Pastor talked about this young man being stuck in his way, going place to place to place to place. And that same issue kept coming up yeah. and ruining his life. Yeah. If we're honest, and if we let God talk to, to us, some of us are stuck. And it shows up on a job I can't get. It shows up in a home that I bring just lack, lack of peace to. It just shows up in all aspects of my life. And God is like, hey, I'm going to lay something on my servant, Pastor Dukes. And I'm going to have him to take the time to, to reach where we are. Our art to acknowledge, Lord, I have been hurt. And, and saints, hear, hear me, and friends, when God shows us what to do, the remedy is not always easy. Sometimes you got to go back to your spouse and say, listen, I have been less than a husband, less than a wife. Sometimes you're going to have to go back to your children. But Lord, that happened 20 years ago. I mean, you want to get out of Neverland? Your children would have to come to you. Things that I've done. Otherwise, we're just beating the air. How about it today? As the choir gives us a song, who's it's two things. Of us who say, who who does God want to help? You. Of those who are not saying, this is a perfect time to run from the hurt. The Lord wants to heal that hurt. Yes, sir. The first thing he'll want us to do is start with salvation. Come on in. Be my child. I'll, I'll direct your life, and I'll lead you out of Neverland. I'll lead you out of there. That's the choir. Kid. There's a prayer room to my left. There's one to my right, and somebody will meet you there.
Seduce also dealt with the script of verse, in verse 16. When the young man, when he got kicked out of the place, he went with a citizen of the land and got with the guy. The guy said, go out there and work with those swine. And the Bible says, and he would have fain filled his belly with what those hogs were eating. And that word fain means he's pleased or he's willing under the current circumstances to do that than to go get right. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that pain. I don't want to deal with that hurt. I don't want, to, I don't want anybody to touch that. I'd rather just stay right here and not just eat this. That's not a good state of mind when the Lord is offering a way out. The Lord wants to help us out. As the choir gives us one more, who's the Lord talking to? Don't get stuck saying, I'd rather be miserable, I'd rather eat this than to get my help from God. Who's the Lord talking to? My God, great saints. Thank God. Thank God. All right. Do we have any visitors? 